Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be going over how you could use BERT models and basically generate sentiment analysis for, uh, let's see, for article titles. So over here in our last tutorial in part one, we were able to scrape um, basically news articles from News, in, uh, from news Insider. And I basically made it into a CSV. And as you can see, um, we have the date time of the article when it was posted, the title and source of the article, and link. And now what we want to do is we want to basically generate sentiment analysis based on that title of the article. So to do this, we will be utilizing uh, FinBERT, which stands for Financial BERT. So BERT is a it stands for bidir bidirectional encoder representations for transformers. So transformers are basically just neural networks that takes an input and turns it into an output sequence. And FinBERT is this is basically a model based on BERT, but is specialized in the finance domain and does better with interpreting terms associated in finance. So we basically just going back to here. Let's say we want to analyze that this is a positive thing or negative thing. So this article title, I'm just going to paste it in here. And oh, I got to log in first. Okay, anyways, uh, we'll figure out we'll figure that out later. But basically, it's just going to compute and determine if the news title is either positive, neutral or negative in terms of its tone. So let's get started. Okay, so there are basically two ways to do this. The first one is to make an HTTP request, an API call, and run the model there, which is easily done by clicking the inference API and just copying the code over here. Or the other method, which is, well, I prefer this way. I mean, yeah, I prefer doing it the second method, which is loading a pre-trained model and running it locally, which the advantage is that it doesn't have to go through uh, hugging face and we don't need an API key. And also there's some limits regarding API calls. So that's why the second method, which I'll be showing you would be the more preferable way. But anyways, let me just, show, let me just show you the first method. So first method is going to be using HTTP request. So over here, uh, we just have to import two more. So import JSON. And from transformers, import auto tokenizer, uh, auto model for sequence. Okay, and pipeline. So if you haven't already, make sure to install. I think it was pip install um, transformers. I believe. I might have to double check that and look at the documentation. But yeah import transformers and yes i'm kind of lazy so for http request i'm just gonna go over here copy it and paste it here there we go and as you can see we start to fill in our api token here so this is gonna be our api token and to do that I'm going to create a new variable called API token. And you've got to insert your own um, API key here and feed it into here. API token. Oops. There we go. And obviously, I'm not going to, well, I'm not going to paste my API token here because, well, it's my own token. So I'll just, you know, there's a lot of strings here. Okay, yeah, dot, dot, dot. I'll paste this in when I actually run it. Anyways, okay, so we have a query, a method called query, and it's gonna call from here, and we're gonna back at, get back a JSON. So for here, we should be calling it down here. So output is equal to Query and input. We have to feed in an input, which is going to be, well, 
the title of the news article. And in the last video, we basically scraped it out and title would be do this. And yeah, well, we're going to get it that way. So now, um, yeah, let's just basically run it and see what happens. And before that, I forgot to set this an F string. And also I got a right bearer token. And I'm going to paste my, my API key real quick. Okay, there we go. I'm going to save it. And let's run it. Oh, let's actually print out the results. Oh, wait, I'm just going to print out my output here. So print output dot, yeah, just print output. And see what we get. And as you can see, it basically goes down to each of the articles under the word scrape page, and it prints out the sentiment score for each of them. And yeah, this is basically it. But the thing is that each of these calls are they're consuming an API call, and these calls are not unlimited. So my preferred way of doing this is to use a pipeline method. So instead of this, I'm going to comment it out and do my second method, which is the method that I use. So I'm going to go here and say this find pipeline method. It's going to be a, yeah. It's going to take in one parameter called payload. And uh, it's going to have a tokenizer. Tokenizer. I'm going to set it to auto tokenizer. Dot from free trade. It's going to locate. The model that we're going to use, which is going to be Finbirds, no, no, it's financial fruits. Finbirds. Okay. And down here, I'm going to set the model is equal to auto model for sequence classification. And again, from pre trained model, this thing. From pre trained. I'm going to set my classifier. Classifier is equal to pipeline. Classification <clears throat> and model. I'm gonna set it to the model that I set above. Same thing for tokenizer. Oops, no response. And yeah, and res is equal to result is equal to classifier payload. Okay, and return res result. All right. Um. Over here, I'm just going to take a step back and show you what this JSON actually is. So what do we want here? So as I was tinkering around, I found out that we wanted the first, no, first. So since this is a JSON, it's going to traverse down and go into each hierarchy. And I'm gonna show you what this gets us. So, okay, so as you can see, it only gets out the first dictionary here. And basically, the purpose of doing this is because this is how we get the highest sentiment score. So over here, it gets us all the sentiment scores, positive, uh, neutral, and negative, but by doing by setting what I did over here, we now have only the top score. So it's the score that it is most confident about. And yeah. So let me go back and work on the pipeline method. So I'm just coming out this code again. This, this was for an API call. And yeah. So. To use the pipeline method, we can go over here and set the output. Instead of to query, we're going to set it to pipeline method and title to title. Okay, and then we're going to have top sentiment, which is output, the first output. Uh, yeah, it's just that. And we're going to set the sentiment value to output label 
and no top sent okay yeah and then sentiment score we're gonna set it to output score and let's just see what it is so just print out top sentiment sentiment score okay so let's save it and run it again this should give us the same thing but just not in the dictionary format perfect so going back and just pause the program how can we store this information back into our data frame over here right over over here our data frame well our previous data frame it only had these so how do we basically create a new column and store sentiment score and top sentiment inside the same data frame so we already have these right oh okay yeah let me just move this down we already have these so now we're just gonna chuck these top sentiment and top sentiment score into its own column cool and now we just run again So I already removed the print statement, so it should only just store it inside our data frame. And let's see, Python tutorial news.csv. Python here. Okay, and let me just beautify this CSV real quick. And as you can see, we have our original columns, and over here we have the top sentiment score and top. Uh, yeah, and top sentiment. And yeah, that's about it. So, uh, based on your own preference, you could choose between if you want to use pipeline method or calling from an API key. And, well, basically making an API call. Okay. Yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. And sorry that I haven't been uploading because I wasn't really sure if I would have time to do this over break when well, now I have so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one